One of the contemporary issues we have these days is uh, DIY, DIY, do it yourself. There's do it yourself everything. And do it yourself spirituality is a common theme among many young people. They feel like, why do I need a teacher? Why do I need a community? Why do I need, I can just read, I can learn, I can study. There's lots of YouTube videos out there. Some great, magnificent teachers are available, which they were never available before. I'll just do it myself. I'll just take myself by my own bootstraps. I'll take myself by the soles of my own shoes, and I will raise myself up. I'll take my own ego, my own opinions about things, my own small view of things, and I'll take that view and I'll use that view to transcend that view. I'll use my own narrow-mindedness to lead me into greater greater, greater mindfulness. Doesn't make any sense. To, To reach outside of ourselves, we need something that pulls us out of our comfort zone, that pulls us out of our fixed views. And it may be that there are social forces that do that. It may be that there are economic forces. It may be that there are environmental forces that do that. It may be that there's a teacher or community that helps with that. But however we do it, however it happens, We need help to go beyond ourselves. Now, the other side of that, of course, is each step of the path we have to take. So nobody can breathe for us. Nobody knows what the taste in your mouth is like. Nobody can can turn your attention one way or another. And so, in that sense, it is totally do-it-yourself. Totally your responsibility. On the other hand, the path that we walk and where we walk and how we walk, we can use some help. And frankly, we can all use all the help we can get. Because our own small view of things is so small and narrow and brittle. So please, get all the help you can get. Never hurts. Please visit our website at sendus.org for more information about our workshops, retreats, and opportunities to practice.